guys for doing arrays in PHP. So, we're going to jump right into it. The first slide was nothing, it was just showing us the basic syntax. And slide two here, it wants us to add two, <coughs> excuse me, two more items to our array, chips and sauce. <coughs> oh, excuse me, chips and sausage. Simple enough, just like pretty much adding it to any other array. Alright, now it wants us to create our own array, and we'll say friends, we'll set it equal, oops, we have to have an array here, don't forget the semicolon at the end, and in here we'll say Matt, Gus, and B. All right. And as always, for whatever reason, the PHP is having <coughs> having an issue with my browser. So. We will save and submit, and that should work. All right. All right. So in this case, um, it's showing us the index. It starts at zero. Of the, uh, the index values start at zero in the array. On line eight, there's an array named tens. Use echo to output the third item in tens. So we'll say uh, echo. I guess we can just call it. Uh, Tens, and we want index 2 because that's the third item. And save and submit. And bam, prints out 30. Cool. Go to update your previous code to use the bracket syntax. So this, uh, apparently, this is the same thing. So we should still get 30. And just a different syntax to be aware of. On line 8, there is a line called languages, or an array called languages. Um, change an item language array, take your pick. We'll change PHP to, uh, what do we want to learn? Um, how about just straight up Java? And then we want to echo. Oh, you know, I don't think I want us to hard code that. Right? I wanted us to modify any of Okay, yeah, I want us to do it this way. So, languages uh, uh, zero equals. Java, and then it wants us to print it. Then use echo to print out languages. Echo languages, and let's see if that works. So that's just going to print out array. So I don't think that's going to work. Alright, so we can see that it's working like that. Uh, let's go to the Q&A forum, see what they say. What the issue is here. So it looks like we are going to need to print out all of them, is what's going on here. So, um, 
couple different ways we could do this. Uh, we could write a for loop, but we haven't gone over that yet in uh, in here. So we'll just do it the long way. Item. Let's say and submit. Oh. Let's refresh the page. Uh, we're still having the same issue. It no, it's only printing out Java. It's not printing out the rest of them. So let's go back to the forums. See what the issue is here. Oh my god, alright. So, I have done this so many times. But... So, uh, definitely uh, make sure you know how to spell languages. <laughs> alright, so we're going to refresh the page. And you can see right there. Oh, did it want us to modify all of them? Okay, so yeah, I guess we have to modify all of them. So, and then we're going to reset that to, let's do C, C sharp, and then we'll do C++ in the next one. And then finally, Index four, we will do is there a hack one? A dot hack or something like that? That Facebook is we'll do a hack. And that should finally take care of this. So uh, it took a little longer than we needed to, but hey. So here we are in the last slide. It's go ahead and remove Python from the languages array using dot unset. So it looks like to in this documentation unset and then we call the uh, languages and we're gonna say index variable two. Oh, oh for Python I'm sorry uh, three and so Python's going to be done and this is a little bit uh, I guess a for loop example that we'll probably get into next time around
So that is our introduction to arrays in PHP. Up next, we have for loops in PHP. So uh, we'll get started on that section next. See you then.